Here are the most common kickoff mistakes I see, plus quick solutions you can immediately implement after watching this to start winning your kickoffs. Fix number one, stop front flipping into the kickoff. At the high levels, front flipping into the 50-50 most often won't work. The reason is because your goal in kickoff is to gain possession of the ball. And if you front flip, but your opponent barrel rolls or side flips, in other words, they're going to be able to push the ball in the direction of their choosing. And as a result, they'll land closer and win possession, most likely after the kickoff. This is why at the high levels, there are two kickoff strategies that work. Option A, barrel roll, or said differently, side flip. Just after you strike the ball, you want to barrel roll to try to push it to one side. This only takes one input, and I use it about 50% of the time. The other 50% of the time, I use the wave dash kickoff. I explain this more in my nine new meta mechanics for 2024, but at base level, to do this kickoff, you wanna save your dodge. So that way, instead of dodging into the kickoff, you pause and wave dash after to try to gain possession. I find the best results when I split it about 50-50. So half the time I go for my kickoffs, I'll side flip, and the other half, I'll wave dash. Of course, that's in 1v1. In 2v2, you generally wanna side flip because in 2v2, a lot of the time after the kickoff, you're going to rotate off the ball. So to summarize, in twos and threes, side flip 95% of the time in your kickoff. But in 1v1, you can choose to use the side flip kickoff or the wave dash kickoff. Both work at the highest levels. Number two, stop driving through the whole kickoff. My recommendation for new players is at base level, learn how to diagonal dodge. But as soon as even diamond these days, you might want to learn the speed flip. And if you want to put your kickoff to the test, here's a kickoff challenge I did with three subscribers that you can follow along with your friends. Speaking of subscribers, Okay, kickoff game, first to three wins. So I've been told these guys are ranked plat through champ, so you can sort of uh, see the difference. Let's see how realistics goes. I'm gonna speed flip. Oh, oh, I lost. I missed the boost pad. All right, up for the second one. Can't miss boost on this kickoff. There we go. Plat through champ ranked players watching right now. If you didn't know this, three years ago, I started Rocket League's largest coaching program. And as of today, my team has helped over 3,000 players, maybe like you watching, get their peak ranks. If that sounds interesting, quick warning. Ugh. It's hard to read these plugs and do the kickoff at the same time. I lost. All right, he gets it. If that sounds interesting, quick warning. We've downsized our team and we only have room to talk to Oh, I think I want it. Just barely, best of three. And we only have room to talk to six players on Discord over voice who are interested every day. So if you're plat through champ ranked and you want to get your peak rank and you're at least 18 years old, click the first link in the description below and DM my Discord account with keyword kickoff. Uh, no. And DM my Discord with keyword kickoff for more details on coaching. Once again, I'll have my Discord first link below. That's keyword kickoff. And geez, I need to focus up and start winning these kickoffs. Keyword kickoff for coaching. All right, Jofu. Now I'm not distracted. Bang. These ones, you have to make sure you're micro moving at the start here. This little shimmy that I just did. You have to make sure that it's accurate. Otherwise, you know, the time difference will catch up and it'll be noticeable. Nice guy, the video guy. Help me out. Let me know what rank they are after. Oh, Jofu won that. Come on. Oh, that was a good start. Who won this? Oh, I think it was me. <laughs> Slightly me. Oh, that's unlucky. Last one. Last matchup. Aigu. I think that last guy was the better than the first one. Oh, I think Aigu might be the plat. All right, let's try again. <laughs> Wait, I just, I just noticed what Realistic's clan name is. I think that's technically a win for us. Yeah, it's a win for us. I delayed that a little bit to see if it would work. Obviously it didn't, so Aigu wins that. All right, let's put the nail in the coffin. Turn upfield, speed flip infield. These ones I'm good at. Yeah, he missed slightly. GG's. Every year, lower ranks are able to speed flip. And since the speed flip is optimal at the highest levels, speed flips are recommended if you're serious about wanting to rank up. Fix number three, stop aiming for the center of the ball. The reason is because if you try to connect with the center of the ball and then side flip, you'll actually roll off the ball. And 90% of the time, this will cause you to lose both the kickoff and possession of the ball after. Instead, I want you to imagine slicing the ball into five sections. These two green sections you see here
here, slightly off center, are actually the best place to dodge into the kickoff. This is because if you hit the ball slightly off center like this, but then roll into the ball center of mass, you'll have a better chance at sticking with it throughout the kickoff. And if you time this right, you should win. Fix number four, save boost after the kickoff. If you're timing your first dodge properly, you should be left with 8 to 12 boosts still in your tank after the kickoff. The reason this is so important is because that 8 to 12 boost after the kickoff is the difference between who gets ball and gets to attack and who doesn't get ball and has to defend immediately after the kickoff. Start saving just a bit of boost that you can use after the kickoff and you'll get so many free goals in 1v1. Fix number 5. Start using trick kickoffs. Now, the reason trick kickoffs are not just a joke and you should learn them is because they wake up opponents and if you use them at the right times, they can win you one or more free goals a game. For example, if 90% of the time I give you a normal tip in these videos, but then one in every 10 times I stop and ask you to subscribe. Like for example, if I interrupted the video to do that, which I would, I, I wouldn't do, I, I would never do that, right? Even if most of the time I just proceeded with giving you a tip as normal, a lot of you would still subscribe. In the same way, if you're in 1v1 and 90% of the time you do a normal kickoff, that 10% of the time you switch will almost be impossible to predict. So for example, you can number one, delay your kickoff. This means intentionally driving slow to the ball, hoping that your opponent goes too early and you get a free dunk. Or you could number two, fake flip. This is where you jump immediately after you spawn but you don't use any boost. This way you can turn back around and hope that the opponent just hands you the ball and you start with possession. Or number three, if you're in 2v2, you can Spanish kickoff. To do this, you ignore the ball altogether, try to demo the second man while your teammate hopefully collects possession and drives in an open net. Trick kickoffs are not a joke. I find the best results when I mix in tricks anywhere from 10 to 30% of the time in my rank games. Kickoff fix number six, cheat up on your kickoffs. One of the easiest mistakes you can fix at the low ranks is to stop going for boost and to instead cheat up on your kickoff. What I mean by this is when your teammate is the one to go first and you're off the ball in kickoff, don't go back for your big boost in the corner. Instead, you want to creep up near the 50-50. That way you give your team the best chance at starting on offense. It's almost always better to be the one attacking with 30 boost rather than the one defending with 100. But Luke, what are my options for cheating up? Number one, you can do what's called a kept cheat. This is where you creep up to the kickoff, but you you go to one side or the other, usually communicating with your teammate, and you hope that the challenge ends slightly to the side. I don't think this is the best for solo queue, but it does work well if you have a teammate in comms. Option number two is the soft cheat. The soft cheat is where you creep up to the kickoff, but you leave about five to eight car lengths of space between the 50-50 and, of course, you. This gives you the best general coverage, and while you might not be the first one to the ball if it dead 50s, this is kind of the most safe and overall best play I recommend you do most of the time. The last cheat you can go for is what's called a hard cheat. Hard cheating is where you position yourself anywhere from one to five car lengths behind the ball after the 50-50. Just like it sounds, the hard cheat is risky because really the only outcome that works is if the ball dead 50s after the kickoff. I go for hard cheats anywhere from 10 to 30% of the time, or if we're down by a large margin, and the only way we're gonna win is to risk it all and try to get a kickoff goal. Now, of course, different kickoff strategies work better at different ranks. So comment below with what cheats or kickoff strats work best for you and let me know what rank you are in the comments. Finally, last kickoff fix, let left go. One of the unspoken rules of Rocket League is that if two players are equidistant from kickoff spawn, the left person always goes. Left goes is actually one of the few unspoken rules I think every player needs to know, no matter what rank you are. But if you want to see the rest, I actually made a list that I'll put on screen right here. Those were my seven kickoff fixes, so click this video now. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Let's go. I'm a beast. <sighs> we're done.